Oh, the view. So we are walking downtown in Chicago and I just recorded a whole conversation that wasn't being recorded so we're trying this again. We ain't making it out here. Ooh, <laughs> it is cold guys so it's like 10 degrees but it feels like negative seven. This is the big move guys. Good morning. So it is 7.50 a.m. Eastern time. I'm in Armonk, New York. Came in last night. I was completely drained, tired. Um, there was a lot of traveling yesterday in Chicago and my spirit has definitely been revised and um, renewed. And I was listening to this pastor Priscilla Cherie, and she is just God sent. Um, she really knows how to speak to the person um, in each specific person in the audience. And so I was just like, yes, yes, yes. Hello. So today is Friday. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. This whole week has been really difficult for me. Um, it's been really hard just trying to adjust to everything. There's a lot of changes. Um, I feel overwhelmed. There's a lot going on in other words. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have been in a funk this whole week and it's been really, really hard. But um, I mean, today I told myself I was going to make it. Like I, I have no choice but to make today a good day. Each and every day I've like, either listen to a sermon or listen to some, you know, gospel Christian music, did my devotional, prayed, but it was like my spirit was still battling to feel happy and to truly just be at ease. And today I told myself like, regardless, regardless, it's Friday, it's a new month. Today's also my sister's birthday and I'm gonna go to DC today to celebrate my coworker's birthday. So it's like, there's so many blessings in today, just being March 1st in today. Like, look at this view, guys, look at this. How beautiful is all this snow? Like, it actually sticks. Oh, it's okay. my birthday! So we are live and direct, and we got Michaela over here. Yeah. Oh, this is my road dog. I wouldn't come into work without her, ever. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I would call out sick every day. <laughs> Look at it really quick. I watched the vlog, so I have to be in. <laughs> What up, this girl. Follow me on Instagram, Twirl Summer Four. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay. Put our post notifications on, period. Let them see the fit though. All the silk though. Let them see all the silk though. Hello. Just a little vibe, you know, nothing too crazy. Okay. Okay. She the cash app queen. Um, I didn't really update y'all, but we are here in Washington, DC for Michaela's birthday extravaganza. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so it's my birthday weekend. I'm about to be 23. Jordan here, you already know what it is. With my girl, Lizzie O. <laughs> Bro, she's the only person that calls me Lizzie O. And actually, I actually really like you. The only person, so yeah. My Yeah. 
to go to Brooklyn's finest. Blessings, peace and blessings. Blessed, and highly you. favored. Mm -hmm. Just Period. know we are wild and out. Okay. okay. And we are here. At this point, guys, I feel very nomadic because I've been in hotel to hotel to hotel to hotel. But I like this room, it's very convenient. They put me right next to the door, right next to the breakfast area, because they know I may be late. <laughs> and I came in, my bags were already here, so that was really nice of them. Um, I have two beds, I don't know why, they just keep doing that. <laughs> but I get to pick and choose where I want to lay down, where I don't want to lay down. Get to do my work over here. Hotels are always so dim to me, so I just need to put some lights on. It's been a very tiring day, not gonna lie. I'm extremely exhausted, but I wanna be productive. It's past 5 p.m., so we gotta make it work. Good morning. Um, today is March 6th. It is a beautiful day. I'm very happy. Um, I'm about to go to work. I'm kind of in a rush per usual whenever I record the beginning, but this is today's outfit. Um, I don't have my heels on yet, but you can see them on the floor. <laughs> and um, yeah, we have another quiz in the morning and then we have everything else. So yeah, wish me luck and I'll talk to you guys whenever I'm done with the day. Bye. Good morning. Yeah, you got right here. So, it is Thursday morning, it's March 7th, and tomorrow's International Women's Day, ooh. I stayed up really late last night um, doing some work and then also editing the video for International Women's Day and you guys are gonna love it. Um, by the time you see this video, that video will already be out, so yeah. This morning I woke up and instead of listening to like a sermon or um, gospel music like I typically do, I played um, 
some interviews. So there was this interview on this girl, she's 21. She's the songwriter for big name artist. And it was just so inspirational because it's like, we're in Women's History Month, you know, International Women's Day is coming up. She's only 21 and she's literally killing it. Like, like killing it. All the top songs you can think of, she wrote them. Um, it's just crazy. And then I was listening to 21 Savage's um, interview with The Breakfast Club. So shout out to my friend, Lisa Ume, because I was talking with her on FaceTime the other day and she was just putting me on game. And she was like, yeah, you should listen to these rappers. And I was like, okay, um, I'm gonna write it down and I'm gonna listen to it on my spare time. And so as I do my makeup and stuff in the morning, do my morning routine, and that's typically the time I have. So I listened to it and it was good. Like. If y'all haven't listened to it, y'all should. 21, he's, he's, he speaks a lot about his life and he holds strong to his opinions is what I liked. In the interview, they would try to suggest something like, oh, so did you mean this in your song? And he was like, no, I didn't. And he'll answer what he meant. And then they'll be like, oh, well that means da da da. And he's like, no, it means da da da. And I just really like how he was able to really narrate his own story because oftentimes in interviews sometimes people will get swayed based off of what the interviewer is saying um and they will not state their true opinion and so i really liked how he st he stood his ground like he's very sure of who he is and he seems very humble like the same person how he said the whole i am i was that's his album cover um title that is like the evolve of him not necessarily saying that he's now a now it but he's a better version than what he was so i i have a different appreciation for his music now for sure but anyways i wanted to show y'all my fit so doing a gray suit t-shirt keeping it kind of cash um mixing patterns and shades today decided to you know why not and then i have clear heels on because i mean why not <laughs> i hope y'all could see that yeah um so yeah that's the fit about to put a watch on and head out wow, so today right now please ignore how crazy i look the lighting is so trash because i don't have any time to figure that out it's a hectic day I feel like I overwhelm myself by putting a lot on my plate and saying yes to more things than need be, but at the same time, that's the only way to stretch and grow. That's that's how I see it. Um, there's a lot of projects that I'm currently working on, today being National Women's Day. Um, I really want everything to be executed correctly, but there's always roadblocks. Like right now, I am running through copyright issues with YouTube on this video. So yeah, and then um, just, you know, communicating with people as far as getting things edited and finished and like due dates and due times. Um, so there's a lot that goes into all of this. And then my side business and trying to make sure I'm on time with that. And then work, of course, that's main priority. I need to understand that this is just a blip in the system this is just something very very small in comparison to who i will ultimately be and where i'll i will ultimately be in life and so i have to go through all of this i have to go through the difficult times i have to go through the overwhelming moments i have to go through the moments where there's not as much clarity in order to understand that god is putting me in a season of preparation and it's not going to be easy it's not going to be joyous as often but it's going to pay off in the end and to just really resonate on it and give myself time to celebrate myself and say i'm proud of you like lizzie i'm really proud of you that you got through this two plus weeks i've been traveling for work for like over two weeks since since February, I've been traveling and we are at March 8th. Um, it's it's a lot. And next week, traveling again. And so it's like, this is definitely the life that I prayed for and I said I wanted, but now that I'm getting it, I'm like, oh, like this is a lot of work. Um, so that's a lot. This We could sit here and talk all day, but I clearly don't have all day because I'm supposed to be packing. 
Um, not sure if you can see this pile of everything that's still spread out, even though we're already past check-in or check-out. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to have a transparent moment with you guys because, I mean, and I'm, I may edit this out, I may keep it. This is really just for me, to be honest. Um, but also, okay, so when I say it's for me, what I mean is that I haven't had much time this week to really digest all the information and there's been a lot of information like working with a technology company that's as big as IBM you are taking in a lot of information and then you are also you know trying to configure your personal life and you know work life balance and then what your future life will be and like the accounts you're going to be placed on and you know business as a whole clientele as a whole um all of that so this is for me that's what I mean whenever I I just need a vent I just need to talk to the camera but Ultimately, I hope this in turn helps someone else. I hope that if someone else is going through something difficult or they're overwhelmed, that they realize once they watch this video, this, this segment, this portion right here, that God has his hands on you, the same way God has his hands on me. And you may cry yourself to sleep because you're so stressed and overwhelmed, and that is okay. It is okay to be emotionally drained. It is okay to feel overwhelmed. It's okay to not have all the answers. It is okay. But what you need to do is to keep your chin up at all times. All times. Don't let anyone catch you slipping unless you truly trust them. Um, so yeah, I just really wanna leave that for you all, leave that for myself. Cause that's, this is like daily words of affirmation that I have to continue to tell myself um, whenever I'm going through challenges that I am confident, I am beautiful, I am intelligent, I am knowledgeable, I am wise, and I need to find ways to execute all of that. I need to find ways to bring that out to life. And I struggle. It may seem as if everything is all fluttery and like glittery and like, oh my gosh, everything's good all the time for Lizzie. But no, I do struggle. It's hard sometimes, not gonna lie, it is. And I'm grateful though. Through all of it, I'm very, very grateful. Very grateful for all of the opportunities God has blessed me with, God has provided me with. I know in my mind, for a fact, I would not be where I am today in any aspect of my life without the man up above. I wouldn't. And so that's my faith, that's my view, that's my opinion. Um, so I give him all the glory and I hope that once you get to that point where you can realize that for yourself and you have that, you know, relationship with God the way I have my relationship with God, you will stop looking at others and what they're doing and being like, oh my gosh, I need to do better, I need to do this, or I wish I could build a relationship with him, or I wish I was that faith-based, or I wish I was this, I wish that was that, and just focus on you. Focus on your lane. Focus on what you're doing in the workplace. Focus on what you're doing in school. Focus on what God's will and purpose is for your life. This was really supposed to not even turn into all of this. I was supposed to sit down and just talk to you guys very briefly, catch you up about, you know, work and all of that. International Women's Day and I ended up just pouring my heart, but that's when you know it's natural and transparent. So I'm gonna stop and go back to packing.